So we're here today at, at Flow Wave, um, part of Edinburgh University. And this, um, I've just been told, is the largest round tank of its type in the world. And it's obviously where they um, can use to test devices that are used for wave energy devices and also tidal turbines as well. Is Scotland the home of renewable energy yet? It is. So we're leading the world at the moment on this. There obviously are other countries that are also developing this technology. We've got a lot of innovation in Scotland and there's a big opportunity here, I think, for the economy. So we need to obviously develop the devices, put them into production. We need um, a good patient funding stream for that, which I think is one of the key parts perhaps we're missing a little bit at the moment. And then there's a huge opportunity here for Scotland to be building these devices, lots of skilled jobs, and also the generation of the electricity once these go into large scale production. How far ahead do you think Scotland is with development of wave energy? So we're one of the leading countries in the world for wave energy, but that's not to say that we're going to see a lot of wave energy machines in the sea in the next couple of years. It's a, it's, wave energy is a long journey. What were you teaching uh, Ash Regan today about wave energy? So we were talking actually not just about wave energy, but about tidal energy as well. Um, and we test wave and tidal and often sometimes floating wind machines here at, at the flow wave facility. Um, it's very important that we do this as part of the development process. So technologies can be tried out here at small scale in, in a way that then gives you confidence when you deploy them in the sea that those machines are going to behave in the way that you expect them to do and are going to generate power for us.